guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be swatching through some new polishes coming out from my brand Moonshine Manny this Friday, June 12th. On the second Friday of every month, if I have a new collection launching, that's when it launches. And that's also when each new Project Dupe It launches. We're gonna be swatching the June Project Dupe It first, and then I'm gonna get into the collection. Our June collection is called Summer Camp BFFs. We have a trio of sun-blasted neon crellies filled with glitters and flakies and shimmer. It's inspired by summer camp, the long hours of sun loving and laughter, and sweet, sweet friendships made there. And it's a collab with my BFF, Stacy, who you guys know. I talk about her all the time on my channel. And we met through YouTube. After I swatch the trio, I'm also going to give you a swatch of my June Polished Gamers Box exclusive, which launches on the Polished Gamers Box website so not on moonshinemanny.com on June 15th. So I hope you guys are having a great week. I feel like I haven't seen you in a minute because I was traveling this last weekend and so it feels really good to be back with you. So I'm going to swatch everything in two coats on my natural nail today and then all of my full hand swatches are going to be three coats today. And like I said, these items launch on June 12th at moonshinemanny.com. The website will be down in the description bar below if you'd like to reference that. So if you're unfamiliar with my Project Dupe It collection, each month I add a new polish to this collection. It's always inspired by a mainstream, hard to find, lemon kind of polish that was released at some time in the past and is currently either no longer available or maybe very, very expensive. I've pulled you guys, I've pulled my customers, I've pulled the Moonshine Mini fan group and asked you what polishes are on your lemming list and so I know what you guys are wanting and this polish that I'm launching this month is definitely one of your top picks. It's inspired by Essie Starry Starry Night, the original version. Now this one was a little bit tricky because I could not get my hands on the original version. I have the remake version, the one that came out a few years ago, and I have a lot of internet research that I did, references comparing the original version to the version that I personally have. So Essie Starry Starry Night is a cult favorite. It's a ultra deep blue jelly finish packed with silver hollow glitters, micro silver hollow glitters. When you combine those two elements, it kind of looks like the night sky. And this is hugely popular with you guys and I was excited to try my hand at it. So the Project Dupe collection is an ongoing builder collection on my website. Everything that I've released in the Project Dupe line is still currently on my website and you can totally use the bundles to pick them up. So if you'd like to go back and take a look, we've done Sally Hansen Pacific Blue, We've done OPI Teenage Dream. We've done China Glaze Don't Let the Dead Bite. We've done Essie Shine of the Times, just among a few. Now, of course, these are always just my interpretation of the polish, and I hope you like what I've come up with this month. So when I was looking online, one of the main comments about the remake, when Essie did a remake of their own super popular Starry Starry Night, was that it was too opaque and the glitters were too large and too far and in between. So what I took from that was definitely make it a jelly, definitely make it a builder polish where you wanna build up, get those three coats, and you're gonna be building the glitters all squishy and layering together. The other thing that I did was I swatched the remake version and I looked at it with my macro lens and I made sure that the glitters that I was incorporating were smaller than those in the remake bottle. But I actually included two sizes of glitters. I included a super, super macro size and one that is just a tiny bit bigger. This was just a personal choice on my part. I found that a little bit of a variation in the glitter gave her a nicer look, made the glitters all settle in together and made it look a little bit less uniform. So what I've come up with for this month, Project Dupe It is called A Starry Night Is Born. I always like to do a little play on the original name for the polish and in this case, this polish is also a play on the movie a Star is Born. So that's gonna be launching this Friday on June 12th along with the Summer Camp BFFs trio. So let's go ahead and get into that now. So I mentioned this is a collab with my BFF, Stacy. I often roll polish ideas off of her. When I was conceiving the idea for this collection, I knew I wanted to do neons. I knew I had a formula in mind, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with a theme. Stacy suggested that we do a summer camp BFF theme, which was really perfect for me. Like a lot of you, the past few months, I've been really struggling not being able to spend time with my friends, not being able to have a lot of social time. One of my favorite things when I was growing up was I would look forward to my girls camp that I used to go to 
Every summer I would spend a whole week with my girlfriends, 24 hours a day, doing nothing but giggling and adventuring and bonding. And so this was the perfect idea for me and she also named all the polishes as well. So they all have the same exact formula. They are a sunblasted neon crelly formula. What that means to me is that they're definitely neon, but because I put them into a crelly, they're juicier and they have a little bit of less intensity in the pigment as if I'd gone like ultra neon cream. I made them crellies because I wanted to pack them full of tons of flakies and tons of glitter and shimmer. So we're gonna go in alphabetical order as we always do. So that means we get to start with the polish called Campfire Confidant. I describe Campfire Confidant as a neon red crelly packed with purple to blue shimmer, black and iridescent glitters, and pink to purple to blue chameleon flakies. So all three polishes in this trio are gonna have the same formula, but the bases all react really differently with the beautiful shimmering pink, purple, blue flakies. I just love the softness that the shimmer and the flaky brings in contrast to the ultra bright neon pigment. It's a super fun look, and it's definitely a little wild and crazy, which is how I was always behaving at summer camp. Let's get real. So I'm swatching these in two coats today, but for my full hand swatch, I'm going to do three coats. The next polish in the trio is called Friendship Bracelet Besties. And this polish is the blue. I did primary colors, so we have a red, a yellow, and a blue. This polish I describe as a neon blue curly packed with purple to blue shimmer, black and iridescent glitters, and pink, purple, blue chameleon flakies, of course. So with the pink, purple, blue flaky, it really complements the blue base. You're getting a lot of beautiful pink and purple vibes coming out of that flaky and shimmer. It's just such a dazzling look. And then don't forget, you're also getting some of that iridescence from the iridescent glitters that I used in here. The glitter mix is one I created on my own. I pulled a number of different sizes and shapes of black matte glitters and a number of different sizes of iridescent glitters and I mixed them to create this custom look. So you're getting a little bit of flippy rainbow goodness from that iridescent flaky as well. And if you have it up your sleeve to try these in a different way, you could definitely swatch them over a white base coat. This would give you a totally different look. This is gonna give you an ultra, ultra bright neon look on the nail. The last polish in the trio is called Tie Dye Twins. I needed to have a neon yellow to complete this collection, so it's gonna have the same formula as the other two polishes. We start out with a sun blasted neon lemon lime crelly. It's not like a true, true uh, yellow. I added a little bit of green in there to give it an ultra tart look. And again, it's packed with the purple to blue shimmer the black and iridescent glitters, and the pink to purple to blue chameleon flakies. In this polish, you're seeing some more like warmth in here. The base color is different than any of the colors in the flakies because the flakies are going pink, purple, blue, the shimmer is blue, purple, so all of the colors are standing out in contrast against this base, and it's super, super fun. Of course, like I said, with the blue, any of these, you could pop over a white polish, and it's really going to make that yellow blaze loudly. The only thing you're gonna lose by doing it that way is you're going to lose the beautiful layering effect of all the flakies, so you're not gonna get as much of a rainbow look on the nail. It just depends on what you're going for, if you want like the blazing neon, or if you want the layering of the flakies and iridescent shimmers. But it does give you multiple ways to wear these polishes, that's for sure. I'm just showing you today how they look layered up and used on their own. Because I didn't create these polishes to be toppers, but you could certainly wear them that way if you'd like to. The last thing that I wanna to talk to you about today is my Polished Gamers exclusive for June 2020. This launches on June 15th. So if you don't know about the Polish Gamers box, it is kind of like Polish Pickup and where it is a number of indie makers. It's polish, body products, jewelry. There's a whole bunch of different things that are offered on the website. So it's, it's kind of like Polish Pickup in that aspect, but it has one very specific theme every month and that is that all items are gamer related. And each month has a different theme. So for June 2020, the theme is Borderlands. I don't know if you've played this game. It has a number of different versions by now. This polish is not available on my website. It's just gonna be available on the Polish Gamers website, which I'll also link down in the description bar below but it's exclusive to that website, so I won't be selling it on my website. If you wanna get it, it's only available from the 15th to the 20th of whatever month we're in. So June 15th to the 20th, you're gonna be able to get Eden 6. So Eden 6 is this swampy, complex, 
green hollow. It is packed with micro gold and copper hollow glitters. It makes this really cool combination with the swampy green base that I'm using to create this color. And then I also added the complexity of an Aurora shimmer in here that is shifting gold, green, blue. So you're getting this really cool rainbow effect on the nail while still being really grungy. The two holographic micro glitters that I use to create this polish are in the same size as the glitters in Mike and Bezaquil. It has an addition of the Shifty Shimmer and then a little bit more pigment in the base. But it's the same kind of formula if you're familiar with that formula. I think that's going to be it for today's video. You guys, thanks for stopping by today. I've really missed you. I do have a number of videos that I have lined up for you. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Leave me a comment down below about your favorite summer memory, whether it's a summer camp, whether it's your bestie that you made at summer camp. Tell me some of your favorite memories down in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I will see you back again very soon. If you'd like to hang out some more, two more videos will pop up on your screen in just a minute. Take care until next time. Bye guys.